welcome to the class students today in this class our another topic to how topic is how to form the uh, manifold table with numerical entries for the given data so for this this is the problem we have taken so this is our first problem see i am read out the problem first in a state there were 30 lakh people okay overall the population in that particular state is 30 lakhs out of this 10, 10 lakh people live in urban areas and the rest in rural areas out of 30 lakhs 10 lakhs are in urban areas and uh, rest in rural areas so our area of living will be two one is urban and one is rural okay and with the total populations in urban areas there were 7 lakh male people out of which 2.5 lakhs are literates. In urban areas, 2 lakhs ladies were literates. Sorry, illiterates. 2.5 lakhs were illiterates and 2 lakh ladies were illiterates. That is in urban area. So, here we, are, we have to categorize literates and the illiterates about men and women so that will comes in the uh, row headings okay next in urban areas sorry in rural areas there were 15 lakh male people out of which 5 lakhs were literates so here we have two categories one is literates another one is illiterates so in uh, rural area out of 15 lakhs 5 lakh were literates that too on overall literates were 5 lakhs in rural areas illiterates ladies were 3 lakhs and this information we have to tablet in the form of manifold tablet so for this first we have to write the, the uh, title of the table table number and title of the table but here before that we have to see we are bifurcating this area of living we have to bifurcate one is urban another one is rural and the next is illiterates and the literates okay and next is male and ladies ladies is nothing but females so these are the information should be there in our table first i will write the table title title of the table table representing table representing the Residents of a state in urban and rural area according to sex and literacy. And these things will be in numbers that is in uh, literate sorry in figures so first i will write the table format first will comes the area of living one is urban and one is rural so area of living area of living one is urban rural last is total okay urban rural and total next next category is that is in this row sorry in this row yes this is the row heading in this row we have to bifurcate literates and the illiterates literates and the illiterates under literates male and females will come under illiterates also male and females will come and total also together we have to take that is men under men under men it is literates, literates, ill, ill, literates, next total. Similarly for women or ladies, both are same, women, literates. Illiterates 
and the total and last column will be our grand total about literates ill literates and the total total Okay, now let us fill these boxes with the given information. Let us fill this with the given information. You just see, you again you have to read out the problem. In a state, there were 30 lakhs people. Oh, in a state, the overall population is 30 lakhs. The total, grand total will be 30 lakhs. So, it is in lakhs. Uh, here I will write figures in Lakhs, lakh, lakhs, figures in lakhs, uh, whatever the numbers I will write that is in lakhs, ok. Next, 30 lakhs out of these 10 lakh people live in urban areas. So, overall urban area strength or the uh, population of urban area, total urban area 10 lakh people live in urban area. So, total strength this is 10 lakh. Next, and the rest in rural areas. Out of 30 lakhs, 10 lakhs are in urban area, rest are in rural area. That means 30 minus 10, it is 20 lakhs are lived in rural area. Next point. In urban areas, there were 7 lakh male people. In urban area, men total is, what is that? Urban area, 7 lakh male people. So, urban area, men total is 7 lakh. Okay. Next, out of which 2.5 lakhs are illiterates. So, out of 7 lakhs in urban area, 2.5 lakhs are illiterates. It is illiterates is 2.5 lakhs. 2.5 lakhs were illiterates. Next, in urban areas, 2 lakhs ladies were illiterates. Again under urban area, illiterates. 2 lakhs ladies were illiterates. It is 2 lakhs. In rural areas, there were 15 lakh male people. In rural area, total men is 15 lakhs. Okay. Next, uh, out of 15 lakhs, 5 lakhs were literates. In rural area, out of 15 lakhs, uh, that to men, 5 lakhs are literates. Okay. Next, in rural areas, illiterate ladies were 3 lakhs. Rural area, illiterate ladies, that is women, were 3 lakhs. So, these are the information we got from this table, from this data, whatever they have given. For this, we have using this data, first we have to complete the table, okay. So, here it is totally 7 lakhs, illiterates are 2.5, so remaining will be literates, that is 4.5. Next, here I will write the total literates 4.5, 5, it is 9.5. Next, out of men 15 lakhs, here rural it is 5 lakhs literates, remaining 10 lakhs will be the illiterates and this total is 12.5 lakhs and here this total is 7 plus 15, it is 22 lakhs. So that the men, this portion we have completed. Next is here it is 2 lakhs, 3 lakhs. Here it is 10 lakhs. Total, overall total is 10 lakhs. Here 7 is there. 10 minus 7 will be 3. So out of 10 total, 10 lakh people total, men are 7 lakhs. So remaining will be the 3 lakhs. That to urban area, 3 lakhs. So that here for again literates, 
2 lakhs were illiterate and total is 3 lakhs. They have to subtract 3 minus 2. This will become 1 lakh. Next, your illiterates are 2 plus 3, it is 5 lakhs. Next, here total population is 20 lakhs in rural area. In that, 15 lakhs are men. So, out of 15 lakhs, sorry, out of 20 lakhs, 15 were men means remaining 5 lakhs are women. If we uh, subtract again 5 minus 3, it is 2. This total is again 3. This is 8. So, 22 plus 8 is 30. 15 plus 5 is 20. 7 plus 3 is 10. Now, we have to complete this grand total table. For literates, it's 4.5. Plus 1, it is 5.5 and illiterates 2.5 plus 2, it is 4.5, 5.5, 4.5, total it is 10 lakhs again. Next, for rural area, 5 illiterates, 2 literates, it will be 7 and 10 illiterates, 3 illiterates, total 13 and this grand total is 20 again. Next, this is 15 Point 0.5 sorry 5.5 plus 7 it is 12.5 4.5 plus 13 17.5 total is 30 and at last we have to write the footnote footnote compute figures computed the figures Remaining computed figures, remaining are given figures, given figures and sources, it is imaginary, it is just an imagination to give, to form the uh, table, manifold table with numerical entries, so that this is how we have to uh, form the table with entries, with numerical entries. Okay. Uh, with the given information, we have to take the calculations row wise and the column wise so that, so that you will get a good table. Let us go for another problem about this. Next one, in a sample survey, you know, sample survey, in a sample survey, sample survey study about, about food habits, food habits, in two towns, two towns, the data was obtained, obtained, here I will write on the data, town A, 50 percent persons were males. Next. 30 percent were non vegetarians, 18 percent male non vegetarian. Next for town B, town B 45 percent persons were male, 25 percent were non-vegetarians, 16 percent were male, 
non-vegetarian. Tablet, the EBO data. Tablet, the EBO data. So this is the data they have given about the food habit of two towns, that is town A and town B. Here 50% were males and another one will be obviously the females and their food habits that is uh, uh, vegetarians and uh, non-vegetarians. Let's uh, first, well, uh, let us construct the table, blank table, then we will do the entries. First, I'll write, I'll write down the table number, table number, I'll simply I'll give table number one. Next, the table showing, title of the table, table showing the sex-wise distribution of, sex-wise distribution of vegetarians in two villages two villages next here we have to categorize under two one is food habits and then is the population about male and the female and the grand total so i'll do like so for this, I have written the table number and title of the table. Now let us construct the blank table first. So for that, I will divide the data into food habits. Food habits. Food habits. One is vegetarians. Non-vegetarians. And last one will be the total. Okay. Next. After this vegetarians and the non-vegetarians. Here the title will be for town A. And next one is town B. For town A and town B we have two categories. Under town A we have male. Again female. And the total. Again for town B we have male, female and the total. Since the figures are in percentage, so it is easy to calculate and easy to uh, fill this table. First let us go for town A. In town A 50% persons were males. So total uh, male percentage is 50. Total number of male population in town A is 50 and 30 were non-vegetarians. Total non-vegetarians are 30 in town A and 18 male non-vegetarians. 18% are male non-vegetarians that is male non-vegetarians are 18%. Next in town B 45% persons were males. Overall in town B total men are 45%. And 25% were non-vegetarians again. So total non-vegetarians in town B is 25%. And the 16% were male non-vegetarians. In town B, 15% male non-vegetarians. So this is the data they have given. For this data, we have to, we have give, using this data, now we are going to complete the table. We already we know that this data is in percentage. So total will be 100. Total will be 100. Now it is easy to complete the table. 50 minus 100 it will be 50. 50 minus 18 it is 32. 30 minus 18 it is 12. 50 minus 12 is 38. 32 plus 38 it is 70. So that we have completed town A. Now for town B. For 100 minus 45 it is 55, 45 minus 15 is 30, 25 minus 15 is 10, 55 minus 10 is 45, 30 plus 45 is 70. Okay, now we have to write the footnote. In footnote, complete the figures. 
computed figures. So, we have completed the figures for this given data. So, this is uh, easy to compute with we should have uh, some basic knowledge. See here since in this problem we have uh, the data is in percentage. So, for town A and town B total percentage total will be 100 so that it is easy to complete the table. Okay. Next one. In a sample study, in a sample study about the food habits, about the food habits of residents of a Agrahar village, village, the following, following data were observed, following data were observed, 55% of the residents were males. Okay. Next, 85% were vegetarians. Only 12% were non vegetarians. Vegetarian females. Okay. Next, tablet the above data. Tablet the above data. This is very simple problem. See, in this problem, they have given only the one particular village, Agrahar village. In that, in that, men and women are there, male and females were there with vegetarians and non-vegetarians. It is very simple to form the table. First, write down the table number. Simply, I will give table number 2 and the title. Table showing, table showing the sex-wise distribution of, sex-wise distribution of Vegetarians, vegetarians of Agrahar village. Here in bracket, figures in percentage. Okay, figures in percentage. Since it is given the percentage, and it is simple to write. It is just a food habit. It is food habit. Under this food habit, vegetarians, non vegetarians, and the total. And next, here this is male, female, and total. In particular, residents, how many vegetarians, male, vegetarian, woman, uh, females, non vegetarian males, and non vegetarian females, and their total. It's very simple type of uh, table. We are framing them. See this 15% of the residents were males. Total number of the res male uh, residents were 55%. Next, 85% were vegetarians. Total vegetarians are 85%. Next, 12 were non-vegetarians, females, non-vegetarian females, non-vegetarian females are 12%. Now, now we complete the table. So, 
since the figures are in percentage the total will be 100 only so 100 minus 45 sorry 55 this will be 45 next 45 minus 12 it is 33 85 100 minus 85 it will be 15 85 minus 33 it is 52 15 minus 12 it is 3 so we have uh, completed the table with footnote compute the figures compute the figures we have computed the figures since this is in percentage so easy to calculate always the total will be 100 okay so this is very very important uh, topic on this in this tabulation concept please follow this one thank you